IF in it. Oh, okay. Working conditions here, Robert. <laughs> Well, the high tower is probably the best vertical you can find on the market. Uh, structurally, it's very, very strong. Uh, with a good cement base, uh, you know, you shouldn't have any problem. We've uh, doubled it up because of the uh, severe weather on the Cape at times, and you have guy wires on it. Uh, it should last your lifetime. <clears throat> well, it uh, has very, uh, very broad coverage, and as you could tell when you tested it after we put it up, uh, the uh, the SWR is very low across all the bands. Pretty much the same as what they describe it in the prospectus. The high tower is not a new antenna. It's been around for, oh, I'd say, probably 45, 50 years. They made some improvements. The new one has the stainless steel base on it, like this one. And uh, it's designed to last a lifetime and, and to be the only antenna you really need uh, to get on all the bands. As you, as you could tell when you uh, tried uh, was you tried 24 and 18, and it, uh, the SWR is very good on those bands. And uh, uh, I don't think you'll find another antenna on the market that will match it, you know, for what it gives you for the money you spent for it. Uh, with the vertical, uh, the more radials that you add, uh, the more dB gain you're going to get out of it. Uh, now you're going to put around 24 uh, radials on it total. So you should have about uh, three and a half dB gain out of the antenna. Great for DX, and it's also good for you know for local contacts, uh, friends, and uh, in the local area up to uh, zero to five hundred miles. Well, it um, the vertical obviously half of the antenna is above ground and half of the antenna is underground with your radios, and uh, because of the uh, angle of radiation, you get a very, very good DX. Can you tell me why did you guy this antenna? It doesn't require to be guyed. Well, because of the erratic weather we've been having in New England the last few months, I thought it's a good safety factor just to put uh, some guys on it. Um, that way it protects your investment. Why did you use nylon rope? Well, <clears throat> you have a caustic at, um, at atmosphere down here on the Cape. And uh, the nylon stands up the best uh, to this type of environment. So that's why I recommended uh, uh, the nylon. The idea of the ground rods is to lower the ground resistance. The lower the ground resistance, uh, the better the antenna is going to work against ground, period. But aren't radials enough? Uh, no, you should have uh, at least a minimum of three ground rods. Uh, recommended would be about five or six ground rods but uh, it will work respectably with three. <clears throat> but you should have at least three. Well, you've seen uh, Don W1CIA put up my high tower vertical. He did an excellent job. Now let's see how it performs. Uh, check the SWR, and on almost every band it was designed for, uh, 80, 40, 20, 15 and 10, uh, the SWR was below 1.5 to 1 in many cases. In most cases, it was 1.1 to 1 uh, was the SWR. However, on the bands it was not designed for, 12 meters, 17 meters, and 30 meters, it was also below 2 to 1. So we'll see uh, how that affects uh, the reception. This is 17 meters on the vertical, 17 meters on the dipole. Dipole, vertical. Looks like the vertical is a little bit better on 17. Vertical, horizontal on 17 meters. Vertical, G5RV. 
there's a PSK signal on the vertical on the dipole better on the dipole on the vertical on the dipole that looks about the same vertical on 17 meters G5 RV vertical G5 RV vertical on these on 17 meters definitely stronger on the vertical vertical G5 RV vertical G5 RV there's a Romeo 7 horizontal vertical Okay, he was slightly stronger on the horizontal antenna. English station, vertical. G5 RV. Vertical. G5 RV. Vertical. G5 RV. This is an English station. Here is 17 meters, a domestic station, on the vertical on the dipole on the vertical on the dipole definitely stronger on the G5 RV a station tuning up on 17 meters on the vertical on the dipole on the vertical okay this is 20 CW at around 11 o'clock in the evening and that's the vertical and that's the beam uh, beam is uh, not as good uh, there's the vertical um, and now we're going to switch over to the G5 RV. Okay, well that's a different station too. Um, this is the uh, vertical, and that's the G5 RV. So it's a little bit stronger on the G5 RV. And there's the vertical. Uh, here is a German station on the beam. Here is a German station on the G5 RV, and now we switch to the vertical. Oh, virtually no difference. G5 R, this is the vertical. That is the G5 RV. Uh, CW, and you can see it's broadbanded. And uh, this is the vertical horizontal. Looked a little bit stronger on the vertical. Uh, here is a German station on the beam. Here is a German station on the G5 RV. Now we switch to the vertical. Oh, virtually no difference. G5 R, this is the vertical. That is the G5 RV. Virtually no different. Uh, once again, we're listening to the Italian station, but this time on the G5 RV, and we're going to switch to the vertical. And it looks a little weaker. Vertical. G5 RV. Now we're listening to an Italian station on the beam and now we're going to switch to the vertical and he's a little bit weaker. Okay, there he is on the beam and now back to the vertical. Very little difference. Vertical, beam, very little difference. Uh, we might like to point out that, all right, I'm a... I would like to point out that the beam is only up about 8 meters or 20 feet. Uh, 20 meters at 10.30 in the evening on the vertical on the G5 RV. On the vertical G5 RV. Uh, this is 20 meters in the morning on PSK on the vertical on the horizontal antenna on the vertical on the horizontal antenna. Uh, here is PSK and as you can see, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to see multiple signals, how they react. Uh, PSK uh, on the G5 RV on the vertical. Very little difference. 20 meters on the vertical on the beam. Vertical beam. Vertical horizontal. Vertical, Our dipole, vertical, dipole, uh, 20 meters on the vertical, on the horizontal, 
On the vertical? On the horizontal antenna. Wonder where he is. On the vertical? On the horizontal. What language is this guy speaking? This sounds like another French station. G5RV. Vertical. A little bit stronger on the vertical. Vertical. G5RV. Hard to tell the difference now. Uh, but this is him on the G5RV. And there he is on the vertical. A little bit stronger on the vertical. Vertical. G5RV. Okay, there is a European station, and that's on the vertical, on the G5RV, back to the vertical, back to the G5RV, he stopped calling. Uh, this is 30 meters at 11 o'clock at night, and uh, that's the vertical, and there's the horizontal antenna, there's the vertical, I think that was a different station, uh, vertical, horizontal antenna, vertical, horizontal antenna and there's the vertical antenna on 30 meters and there's the horizontal antenna so we can see on 30 meters in the evening uh, this is performing better with the vertical which again there is the vertical antenna this is uh, 30 meters where the band is not designed for this or the vertical is not designed for 30 meters and right now we're on the vertical uh, looking at a number of CW stations and now I'm going to switch to the G5RV and definitely weaker on the G5RV back to the vertical vertical G5RV okay now we're on 40 meters uh, on the vertical we switch to the G5RV definitely stronger on the G5RV on 40 meters back uh, here still on 40 meters in the evening 10 o'clock there's the vertical antenna and there's the horizontal antenna uh, sight advantage to the vertical antenna. Okay, it's at 10 o'clock. Uh, this is 40 meters. It's a YU-1 that's talking. He's not too strong. And there he is on the vertical. And there he is on the, di on the dipole. Back to the vertical. And there he is on the dipole. Very little difference. Uh, this is 80 meters or 75 meters. An AM station on the vertical and now we switch to the G5RV a little bit stronger a lot of QSB back to the vertical back to the horizontal antenna and uh, here is 80 meters at 10 o'clock in the evening an AM station and that's on the vertical and that's on the horizontal antenna definitely stronger on the horizontal antenna this is 80 meters at 10 o'clock in the evening, 10.30 in the evening, that's the vertical, that's the horizontal antenna, back to the vertical antenna, challenge you to see the difference, that's the vertical antenna, that's the horizontal antenna, horizontal, vertical, 75 meters, G5RV, Vertical. Definitely weaker on the vertical. In, in, in Romania, it's a few hours, few hours.